If you've ever wanted to create an order that uses a very specific study or indicator to activate it, then this is the video for you. Thinkorswim happens to be one of the very few platforms out there that actually lets us create an order this advanced, although it can be a bit tricky when you're first getting started. So today we're going to go through how to create two separate orders using the most popular indicators out there, SMA and RSI. You could use any condition that you want, the options are near limitless, but these are the two we're going to use for today. Beginning with the first of the two, SMA, heading over here to the chart for a second, we'll be specifically creating an order to buy this particular stock when the 50-day moving average crosses above the 200-day moving average. So on my chart, that's essentially going to be when this blue line right here crosses above the gold line. I want to submit an order to buy this stock whenever that happens. To do that, we're going to first need to begin by creating a standard order ticket to buy the stock. So we'll simply begin by coming up here to the very top of our screen and clicking on the current price of Google. Then within the menu below, we'll simply come down here below and click the button mark buy. The order ticket that we're all used to seeing will then appear down at the very bottom of our chart to actually buy the stock. This is where you would then normally come to just fill out how many shares that you want to buy, the price that you want to pay for those shares, the order type that you want to use, and even how long you want that order good for. However, today we want to get a bit more advanced with it, creating a buy ticket to only purchase these shares when there is a golden cross on the stock. So to do that, we're going to come over here to the far right hand side of the order ticket and click on this little gear icon right here. That will then open up a little conditional order window right over here on the left where we can now set all of our constraints. There's a lot in here, a lot to look at, but what we want to focus on is the section right here in the center. This is where we can now set our conditions based on the simple moving average crossover. And we'll first begin by coming down here below the word symbol and just clicking in that little blank box. You'll then see that immediately it auto fills with the stock that we're currently looking at, in this case Google. But of course you could adjust that to any stock ticker that you want. I'm not sure why you would, but in this case we're going to leave it as Google. We're then going to move over to the next box on the right and simply click in the little black box below the word method. You'll then see that it auto populates that box as the word mark, which means we're basing this order off the mark price of Google, which is not the case in this order. We actually want to base this order off a golden cross or the 50 day moving average crossing above the 200 day average. So what we need to do is come up here to this drop down menu and find the word study here, then come over here to the right and select the button marked edit. That'll then create a little pop-up window where we can then begin adding our conditions. In this case, remember, we're just looking for the 50-day SMA crossing above the 200. So we'll begin by coming up here and hitting delete. Then we can come over here to the far left-hand side and begin adding our conditions. You might also notice that it is nearly identical to how you're going to create a custom alert or a scan within here. It's almost the exact same process. So we're going to begin by coming up here to select a condition. In this case, it is a study condition. We can then come up here to where it says look up a study and we're going to type in the word simple for simple moving average and then select it from the list below here. Now on the left hand side we've got the simple moving average and the only thing I have to do is specify that I am specifically looking for the 50 period SMA. So we'll adjust that from 9 to 50. I can then come over here to the right and specify I'm looking for the 50 period SMA to cross above. We'll then need to specify what it's crossing above. So I'm going to come over here to the right and select a condition. It's once again going to be a study condition. We'll come up here to where it says look up a study and again type in the word simple and select simple moving average down here below. Now that we've got that, the only other thing I have to do is come down here and adjust the length from 9 to 200. And now once that's done, all I'm saying is I want this order to wait until the 50 day moving average crosses above the 200 day moving average before the order is submitted. So now that I'm happy with that, I'll just come down here and hit save. And I might not have mentioned it the way it knows that it's going to be the 50 day versus the 200 day instead of like the 50 minute versus 200 minute is because up here in the upper left hand corner, I've got D for day selected. So if I were to click on that, I could adjust it to a minute, two minutes, three minutes, really whatever it is that I wanted to use. But in this case, I'm going to leave it as day. I could also add additional conditions to this by coming down here and hitting add condition in the lower left. If I wanted to cross reference this against other studies as well, I could do that if I wanted to. But in my case, I don't for right now. So we'll just come down here to the lower right and hit OK. And now what we can see here over on the left, it's saying I do not want to submit this order until the Google study that I just created is true. 
But we're not quite done yet, because what I'm saying is, when this condition is met, I want the above order to be submitted. The order to buy these shares with a limit price at $94.99 which probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't necessarily know what Google is gonna be trading for when the 50 period SMA crosses above the 200. So I could do one of two things. The easiest thing is coming up here to the current order type where it currently says limit and just flipping that over to a market order instead. So now I'm just saying whenever that condition is met, whenever the 50 period SMA crosses above the 200, I want a market order to go out there to buy these 10 shares. That will be the simplest way to do it, but we could also come up here and flip this back over to a limit order. We could then come down here to where it says manual currently, and instead of putting in a manual price, where we're specifying the price ahead of time, we could come down here below and base it off whatever the mark price is at the time the condition is met. So this essentially means that whenever that crossover happens, whenever the 50 period SMA crosses above the 200, I want a limit order to go out there to buy these shares at Google at whatever the mark price is at that time, which is generally gonna be the midpoint between the bid and the ask. Now, honestly, this isn't really necessary for liquid stocks like Google or really any stocks these days. The main reason you're gonna use this is if you're doing this on an option contract. Personally, I would never submit a market order on an option, so I would do something like this to protect myself in case the bid ask spread is insanely wide. But for the stock itself, I'm generally comfortable coming up here and flipping this over to a market order instead. But just be mindful of that, you do have a couple different choices available to you. Now, once that's done, we've got everything filled out. You could also come down here to the very bottom of the screen and just confirm that this order is gonna work exactly the way that you set it. It actually has a list of written instructions. So if you're ever in doubt and worried that you didn't build this out correctly, just come down here below and read through it to confirm it's actually gonna work the way that you want it to. But in my case, I can see that I did do it correctly. Right here, it says, wait for the following condition to be satisfied. So wait for the 50 period SMA to cross above the 200 period SMA before the above order is submitted. So since it looks good and I'm happy with it, I'll just come down here to the lower right and hit save. Now that that's done, I'll just come over here to the far right and hit confirm and send, then hit send one more time to actually place this order. So that was example one, how to place an opening trade to buy the stock if there is ever a golden cross on a particular stock. Now the next one we're gonna use is basing the order off an RSI crossover, which would be the study directly below our chart right here. Let's instead say for this one, I wanted to open up a short position if the RSI ever crossed below 70. So essentially my order is gonna wait for this little line right here to cross above 70, and then whenever it crosses back below 70, I wanna enter a short position on Google. I wanna short the stock. To do that, the process is gonna be nearly identical as the previous example. We'll start by coming up here to the upper left-hand corner and clicking on the current price of Google. This time, since we wanna short the stock, we're gonna come down here below and click the word sell. That will then generate an order ticket to short the stock down here at the very bottom of the screen, where we would again put in the number of shares that we wanted to sell. Then over here on the right, we could stipulate the price that we wanted to sell it for, the order type, and the time and force. But remember, in our case, we wanted to put that condition based off the RSI crossover, so we're gonna come over here to the far right and click on that gear icon once again. Within that little conditional order pop-up window, we will once again come over here to the center section, then click in the little blank box below the word symbol. It'll again auto-populate Google since that's the stock we're currently looking at. We'll then move over to the right and select method once again. Just like before, we'll come down here to the study box, come over here to the right and select edit. Within that pop-up window, just like before, we'll first begin by deleting whatever's in here, then come over here to the far left and add a brand new condition. For this one, remember we're looking for the RSI to cross below 70, which is gonna trigger our short position. So we'll come up here to the top to select a condition. It's gonna be a study condition. We'll be looking for RSI this time, so just go ahead and type in RSI and then select it in the list below here. We can now see the RSI populates over here on the left, and I'm actually gonna leave it as the default settings. So now all I have to do is come over here to the right and specify I'm looking for the RSI to cross below. We now need to specify what I'm looking for it to cross below, and in this case, we're gonna select a condition, and this time it's gonna be a value condition. I'll then change this from 100 to 70 here, and now that I'm happy with that, I'll just come down below and hit save, then just come down below and hit okay to lock it in, and now I've got it set. 
The only thing I want to adjust is coming up here to the top and saying I don't want to submit a limit order once that condition is met. I want to submit a market order. I could also come down here below to the description section just to make sure I filled everything out correctly, make sure it looks right, and in this case it does. So we'll just come over here to the far right and hit save. The only other thing we have to do is now come down here and hit confirm and send, then hit send to actually submit it. Once submitted, we can now see both of those right up here on the chart, but we could also come up here to the monitor page and specifically down here below to the working order section to actually check on those. So to see the conditions that we set and just make sure they're working correctly or if later down the line you need to remind yourself, we'll just come over here to the far right and click on those little gear icons. That'll then open up the little pop-up window explaining what it is that we set before and right down here for this one, it's saying it's waiting for the RSI to cross below 70 to submit the short position. But those were just a couple of examples of the types of conditions that you're able to set within Thinkorswim. It's certainly not perfect, nothing ever is, but some of you out there might find this useful. Hopefully after that, you're now a bit more comfortable with the process and the types of things that you're able to do inside of here. It's a little bit complicated when you're first getting started, but with a little bit of practice, you will get the hang of it. I've also made a completely separate video on how to place trades on options using the underlying stock price, so go ahead and check out that one next. Otherwise, have a great week, and I hope to catch you all on the next one.